Everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial and today we are painting Khan the Betrayer. He is an awesome model and he is the last of our Chaos Heroes that we haven't done yet. We've done Araman, we've done Fabius, we've done the other one, Typhus, <laughs> uh, but we haven't done Khan yet so that's what we're going to be doing today. He's been primed in Grey Seer and well we're just going to get started straight away and the colour we're going to be using first is Flesh Terror's Red. I'm going to be using this on all of his armor. Now what we want to do is just want to be very careful here as we do this. We just want to start picking out all of the flat panels of the armor with Flesh Terror's Red. Just gliding across that surface with the tip of our brush, being very gentle not to disturb it so we get a nice smooth finish. And I'm starting under here on the foot, which is not the best place to start for the sake of the video, but is the best place to start in terms of the technique because you want to take this very methodically you want to finish each panel at a time just going around piece by piece bit by bit now don't worry if you get any of this on any of the trim it doesn't matter because we're going to be going over that with a metallic and metallics cover over contrast absolutely fine no problem so we just want to as i say Focus on the armor and don't worry too much if you get this on any trim. Now, additionally, as I also have just said several times now, I'm going to repeat myself again. You do just want to take it a panel at a time, section at a time, like this, very methodically. Make sure you work it into all those little recesses as well. You don't want to miss bits. And then when you're done with that, what you can then do is move on to the next one which is this one here. And again, just gonna glide across the surface of that armor panel, being nice and gentle and methodical, taking it very, very steady as we go. Now, because of the amount of trim on Khan, it's very easy to divide this model up into sections. Like that. Nice and simple the trim axe is kind of like the stop, the stopping point on each part. With the Flesh Terror's Red. So you just want to go around like this, picking out all of his armor with Flesh Terror's Red. And then once that's done, we'll come back. And so with that done, you should have a Khan that looks somewhat like this. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move on. Before we do any highlights, we're just gonna kind of get as many of the base coats on as we possibly can um, before we start delving into the slightly trickier things to do. So the first one that we're gonna use is Black Templar. I'm gonna be using this for all of the soft joints and all of the kind of servos and cables and things like that scattered around the model. What we can also do though, is we can use this to paint in areas such as the casings on the ax and on the pistol as well. So just take your time, have a look at the box art for all these areas that you want to be black. So we've got, for example, that's there is his armpit. We've got these kind of ribbing areas. And 
like this. And as I said, we've also got areas on the axe as well, so we've got like that area there. And there. Like so. And so with that Black Templar all applied around the model, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Shayish Purple. I'm going to use this to colour in all of the smooth cables. So for example, we've got this one here. Like that. We've got this one here as well. Like so. We've got one there. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some Skeleton Horde. I'm going to use this to paint in all of the skulls scattered all the way around Khan. Now he's got lots and lots of skulls, including the ones that are on his armour. So we've got this one here on the knee, for example. Like that. Got this large one here in the middle of the the armor. Got the other one on the knee. Got the ones on his hanging from chains on his belt. Skulls for the skull throne and all that. <laughs> so you just want to go around like this with the skeleton horde, picking out all of these skulls. And then we'll come back. And with that done, what we're then going to do is take some dark oath flesh. I'm going to use this to paint in his arm. And with that done, one thing I forgot to mention is we also wanted to paint in that flesh on the back of his head because he does have a bare neck. And what we're going to do now is going to use some Achillean green. We're going to use this to paint in his hair. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some thinned down iron warriors. We're going to use this to paint in all of our silver details. Now this is going to include areas such as the vent just here on the front. And 
like that. It's also going to include all the various chains and things. Hanging off of old Khan. I'm going to paint in areas such as the teeth of the chain axe. Kind of vents on the backpack. See these bits here. The grenades. And the mechanical areas. And the remaining details on the plasma pistol. Excluding the plasma coils themselves. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're just going to quickly use some wild wood. And he uses to paint in the pouch on his belt. Down here. Like that. And what we're also going to do, we're going to use this to paint in the soft leather wrap of Gore Child. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some thinned down Retributor armor. And we're going to be using this to effectively paint in all the details that we haven't painted in, as you can see here, all of the bits that are still grey here. This is all of the armor trim, the decorative parts of the axe, the pistol, everywhere. Like this. This is going to take a bit of time. There is a lot of gold here. Just be careful. Around all those details that we've already painted in. Boy, that's a lot of gold. As you can see, all over Khan, he does have a lot of gold. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna apply some shades to the model. And the first one we're gonna be using is some Basilicanum Gray. What we're going to do is we're going to use it in two different ways. Firstly, what we're going to do is we're going to use it to shade all of the silver. Just going over it like this. Like that. Nice and simple. What we're also going to do is we're going to use it on the skulls on the axe. Like that. Want these to be nice and dark in contrast to the rest of the weapon. Like that sort of thing. So, you just want to go around. And with all of that silver shaded, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Space Wolves Grey. I'm going to use this to shade the vein. Popping on his bicep. Just like that. So with that done. What we now want to do is we want to create a roughly one-to-one -one mix of fire slayer flash and contrast medium. And what we want to do is we're going to use this to shade all of our gold.
So with those shades applied, Khan is now at what I would call pretty much a war hipster battle ready. The only thing we haven't done yet is the plasma coils under there. But we're going to be saving those towards the end because we're now going to work on really brightening him up and making all of those details pop. So we're going to be adding some highlights. And the first color we're going to be using is Evil Sun Scarlet. And we're going to be using this to highlight all of his red armor. And that's basically what we want to do. Just want to start picking out all of those edges. around the model. Just like this. What you can also do you're feeling brave is just to make his flat panels pop a little bit more is you can add little highlights around the inside of the panels so we can just for example here on the leg just add a little line that just kind of follows along with the trim like that. So you want to go around like this with the Evil Sun Scarlet and then once that's done we'll come back. So with that done you should have some armor that looks somewhat like this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take some Cadian Flesh Tone and we're going to apply this as a little spot highlight to all of our red armor. So what we do is we just pick out things like the corners and the rivets. So we've got the rivet here corner just there a little corner just under here as well there and a little bit of it here like so you just want to go around like this, picking out the sharpest points to add this little spot highlight. Make that armor look nice and reflective and shiny. So with that done, the armor is now finished. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on and we're going to start highlighting all of that gold. And the color we're going to be using is Sycorax Bronze. And what we want to do is we just want to, just like with the armor, now this time there's a lot to do. We're going to use the Sycorax bronze to just pick out all of the edges. Just like this. And with that done, you should now have a Khan the Betrayer that looks somewhat like this. So what we're going to do now, just to finish off all that gold, is we're going to take some Canoptic Alloy. I'm going to use this as a little spot highlight on the sharpest parts. So for example, these top edges. Like that. We've got the end of the spikes. As well. Got teeth on this design here. Just things like that. Just picking out those sharp, sharp details just to give them that extra little bit of shine. So with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some thin down iron hand steel. I'm gonna use this to highlight all of our silver details. So for example, we've got these chains down here. Just wanna start picking out the links.
And so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down screaming skull and we're going to use this to effectively relayer the skulls. And what we want to do is basically want to avoid any of the deepest recesses where that skeleton hoard has really settled. But we want these skulls to be nice and bright. So we're just going to take this screaming skull, for example, down here. I'm just going to start painting it all over the raised details. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down pallid witch flesh and use this to highlight all the skulls. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some warp lightning and we're going to use this on a few different places. Firstly, we've got the eyes on the skulls on the on the knee, knees, and we've got the eyes on the skull here on his tummy. We've also got his own eye lenses, and we've got the eyes on the skull on the plasma pistol as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that warp lightning on our brush and we're just going to start painting this on. So what we want to do is we just want to start here on these kind of middle skulls. I just want to very carefully paint this warp lightning over the eyeball in the middle of the set skull. And you just want to widen it out a little bit so it kind of like edge highlights the socket around it like that. Smoothing here. And then just very gently wind it out just a little bit. like that. I want to do the same thing on the ones on the knees, but what we also want to do, as I said, is we want to apply this to his eye sockets as well. Like so. And so with that done, what we then want to do is take a tiny amount of Gorse Blaster Green we want to add this as a little spot highlight on those eyeballs. Just like that. So that warp lightning is acting as the kind of the glow. And the gorse blaster green is the center. Just like that. So with that done, our skulls are finished, so what we're going to do now is going to move on and going to highlight the hair using some Temple Guard Blue. So with that done, just before we apply a little spot highlight there, what we're going to do is we're going to take some pterodon turquoise and we're going to use this to paint in the plasma coils. Just under here like this. So with those plasma coils done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some blue horror. We're going to use this as a little spot highlight on the hair, but also on those plasma coils. Take the blue horror and we apply it towards the tips of the hair. Like that. And similarly, on the plasma coils, what we want to do is we want a little bit of blue horror on the corner.
So with those bits done, what we're now going to do is going to take some thinned down Dawnstone. I'm going to use this to highlight the black details as well as the purple cables. So what we want to do on the purple cables, for example, is we just want to pick out those breaks. Like that. Similarly, on areas like this, plasma pistol casing, you just want to pick out the edges like that. We don't need to worry about doing any of the like, the ribbed areas like his, arm, his armpit and his hip, for example, because Black Templar has already done the job for us. But on these slightly bigger areas, And so with that done, we've just got one last thing to do, which is to focus on his flesh. Now the color we're gonna be using first is Kislev flesh. And we've got it thinned down a little bit more than we would normally, because what we're gonna do is we're effectively gonna relayer it over the top of his skin. So we just wanna start painting this Kislev flesh all over, like this, just avoiding any of the deepest parts or where that shade is really settled. Just like that. We're also going to avoid that vein. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Blade One Flesh. I'm going to use this to highlight the muscles. So we just want to run this down each of the edges of the muscles. Just like this. We can also use this as a little spot highlight on the vein as well, just to tie it together. Like that. And then lastly, just to finish him off, we're going to make a roughly two parts contrast medium to one part Magos purple mix. I'm going to use this very carefully over the top of that skin, including the vein, just to blend it all together and really make it look kind of, well, inflamed and angry. Just like this. And so, as you can see, I have finished off Khan's base, and that means that he is done. Ready to collect skulls for the Skull Throne, shed blood for the Blood God, kill, maim, pillage, burn, all the good stuff. All the, all the cornate stuff. All the world eatery stuff. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed doing him. He was the last of the kind of God Legion characters. We've done Araman, Fabius. Typhus, all of them, so it was good to finally complete the set. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you want to support me further, like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you can now become a YouTube channel member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, just like these absolute bosses have done. And if you just want to shoot me a little thanks, just because you really love this video, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.